A live action adaptation of the video game series Assassin's Creed will be coming to the streaming service Netflix after it entered into a deal with the game's developer, Ubisoft. I'll have more on that in a minute here on the Orlando Gamer. Hi everybody and welcome to the Orlando Gamer. My name is Marco. I am in Orlando and I love video games. So uh, today we have some news about Ubisoft and Netflix. Uh, but first, if you like video game news, uh, feel free to subscribe. And if you like this video, check it. Uh, you know, hit the like button and it does help out my my channel if you do like it. Um, but but only like it if you really like it. So um, I, I I appreciate the support. Uh, so, so yeah, today uh, Ubisoft and Netflix announced a deal that is going to bring the video game parkour-based, uh, you know, uh, game Assassin's Creed to Netflix for a live-action television series. As we know, Netflix has had great success with its adaptation of The Witcher uh, with Henry Cavill which is uh, in, pr in production for its second season to release next year. So I love to see that the company is leaning into video game franchises and understanding that this isn't the age of the Super Mario Brothers <laughs> disasters uh, of, of the long past. In a press release that was sent out uh, on Tuesday morning, Tuesday, October 27th in the morning, Netflix announced the content deal uh, with Ubisoft on this Assassin's Creed. You know, they have Ubisoft and Netflix both kind of issued quotes to the public uh, to explain it. Ubisoft said, for more than 10 years, millions of fans around the world have helped shape the Assassin's Creed brand into an iconic franchise, and we're thrilled to create an Assassin's Creed series with Netflix, and we look forward to developing the next saga in the Assassin's Creed universe. That it comes from Jason Altman, who was the head of Ubisoft's film and television division in Los Angeles. Netflix, meanwhile, said they're excited to partner with Ubisoft and bring to life the rich, multi-layered storytelling that Assassin's Creed is beloved for. From its breathtaking historical worlds and massive global appeal as one of the best-selling video game franchises of all time, we are committed to carefully crafting epic and thrilling entertainment based on this distinct IP and provide a deeper dive for fans and our members around the world to enjoy. Now, details of the series are scarce, and in, in the press release they said that the series is in development and that they're looking for a showrunner uh, for the series. Assassin's Creed has been around since 2007 when it first launched the series and according to the release it has sold more than 155 million games worldwide. It's one of the best-selling series in video game history. Now in 2016 Michael Fassbender starred in the Assassin's Creed movie that was released. It wasn't particularly received well Although there were some pockets of fans that did receive it well and were excited about watching Assassin's Creed play out in the movies, uh, you know, to uh, to theaters uh, worldwide. As I said, there aren't many details of the show and uh, no nothing like a release date or anything like that. In fact, the press release was mostly biographical information of Ubisoft, Netflix, and the Assassin's Creed video game series. Uh, with two small graphs and then a bunch of quotes. So, again, this is very early on. It's exciting, though. And as we all know, The Witcher just reimagined what a video game series could be. And I think the fact that that did so well is going to mean more video game franchises in the future. And I think Assassin's Creed is just the very first of what I hope is several, several to come uh, in the future. Of course, Netflix has a great history when it comes to video game uh, movies and series and adaptations and I think they're almost single-handedly reviving the genre which had a bunch of hiccups long long ago um, you know Tomb Raider was not terrible but it was also wasn't the greatest movie um, you look at uh, the early Tomb Raiders were, were however not that great um, you remember the Super Mario Brothers disaster of the I think in 80s and 90s um, but now Netflix has you know, they've done The Witcher, which was fantastic and received well throughout. The animated series Castlevania did well. And there's an animated series coming up uh, based on the game Cuphead, which is scheduled for release next year. In addition, a series based on the Resident Evil video games has also been accepted and will be coming out 
in the future. So um, they're almost single-handedly reviving a gen the genre that right now, because gaming is so big, there's there's a lot of really built-in audience for these kinds of uh, uh, movies and series. So it'll be interesting to see what details come forth with Assassin's Creed. We do know they have a lot of history to to choose from. Uh, and we will you know, be following any sort of releases here on the Orlando Gamer. So thanks for joining me. And we will talk to you next time. And happy gaming.